everybody, it's Michael Prescott here. I thought I would do a very short video on how I clean up my artwork, uh, my isometric maps, or sometimes the uh, illustrations that I put on page two of the Trilemma Adventures, uh, in the hopes that it's useful for you. So here's a piece of art, and uh, as you can see, the way I start is by uh, doing outlines. I got this nice uh, light blue pen that I use. I got all the construction lines, and then, then I do the inking on top of that. I scanned it in at about 600 dpi, so you can see all the warts and imperfections uh, when it's blown up to this size. Um, but there's a couple things uh, that you need to do to it to make it uh, a bit more passable for production use. So one of them is to change the levels. You can see if you look here in the mouth, you can see some variations in the consistency of my marker. Um, you can see that this is really kind of a not even really super dark gray. And of course, there's these blue construction lines everywhere that I got to get rid of. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, add another layer, which is the an adjustment layer, and it's going to be level. So it's right here. And then this gives you a little histogram of all the uh, variations of color in your drawing. So you can see here, these are the darks. I've got nothing really uh, that's super black, and that's what I want. I want some nice crisp blacks. You can see I've got a lot of white on the page. Um, so what I'm going to do is just grab this black slider. And what I'm really looking for is this lump here. And this lump tells me um, what my marker's blackest black was. So I'm just going to grab this slider, and I'm just going to stick it in the middle of that lump. And it's very straightforward. You can see now these lines are a delightful, uh, super, super crisp black. OK, the second stage is to get rid of the blue. And this is also super easy, just to make another layer black and white. Um, now you can see all those lines have gone gray and it looks really terrible, uh, but Photoshop gives you a bit of flexibility in terms of how to uh, map all these colors into black and white. So, um, you know, you can make the reds darker than the greens or whatever to help your eye uh, differentiate from them instead of everything looking all soupy gray. Uh, in my case, I'm just going to try and get rid of the blue. So what I really want is these, sorry, the cyans. I want these, this cyan color, I want it to not show up at all, so I want to make it white. Um, so it's really as simple as just grabbing this slider and pulling it all the way to the right end. And uh, now we're done. Now uh, you might stop here. I tend to like uh, putting a few white outlines on things. So I'm going to get a solid color layer. Um, there we go with my white. And I just need to invert this, the alpha. So what this is doing is saying I'm going to draw uh, in white only. So this is a pure white layer. can't be any other color. And I'm just going to use that to bring out some of the uh, pieces that are in front of others. So you can see this arm is really closest to us, and there's a fair distance between this front arm and the back arm. And I've used a heavy marker here just to uh, indicate the depth change, but I would also just like to pull it out with some white. So uh, I go super, I go a little slowly here, and of course I immediately muck it up. So let's give that a go again. Go down the other side of the arm. It's important to pull off any little bit of that texture. If you see any texture on the inside of the white, uh, that's no good. So I'm gonna go back and nip that spot. There you go. Um, it can be a little striking. I, I like it. I'm not gonna do it here. You could you could do it in these areas up here um, along this arm. I'm choosing not to because I think it's a little close to the chest. And that's about it. Let's do under the chin actually. Let's pull that off. Just a little line there to give a sense of depth. And I think we're done. Thanks.